Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can retouch in Photoshop. Let's start! Okay guys, here I have a lot of pictures in Adobe Bridge and I'm gonna start showing you a few tools to retouch and other commands also, okay? I'm gonna start um, with this picture. One other thing that I would like to do, I would like to remove these guys that I can see here because maybe I'm gonna use for my client this building, okay? For an ad or a flyer and I would like to remove the people and I would like to keep just the building. In that case, there is a few tools that I can use, but I'm gonna show you one tool that is pretty cool. This one is the Spot Healing Brush Tool. With that tool, you can remove wrinkles, you can remove molds and faces, or you can remove people. But the thing is, you have to try to be accurate with this tool. Let me show you the idea. First, I'm gonna zoom in here. If you select the tool here on the top bar, you can increase or decrease the size of that brush. Okay, in that case, I believe a size no more than 50, maybe I'm gonna put something in 40, it's okay. Then double check here, you have the normal mode, okay, and content aware is selected. And now what I can do, if you click and drag, painting, and then release the mouse, and that's gonna happen. You see there is one thing that is left there, okay? What you can do, you can continue retouching. For example, I can do this, release, and now it's much better. I'm gonna do the same with these guys. I'm gonna start painting here this area. Okay, and then release. Okay, but that happened. In that case, I had to paint both persons. Okay, these two guys. Okay, and then this area. And then release. Now it's much better, it's pretty cool. Okay, if sometimes there are part that is not the best result, okay, but you can improve the result with a stamp tool, okay? And I'm gonna show you how you can work with the stamp tool. Here, I'm gonna zoom on this area, and I don't like this one, this part. What I can do, I can select the stamp tool, okay? You can press S as in Sam. The stamp tool is this one. And then I'm gonna put the mouse here, but here I'm gonna increase a little bit the size. Inset eight, I'm gonna put something around 20, all right? The stand tool, first you have to hold down the option key on your keyboard. If you, have, if you are using a PC, you can have to hold down the Alt key, okay? And with that, what you have to do, you have to click on the source, on the part that you want to clone, okay? Follow me on this. First, hold down the Alt or the option on Mac and click here, click. Then release the key and just move the mouse and try to put the same position, trying to follow the same shape here. And then what you can do, you can start painting on this area. Okay, what's gonna happen? You're gonna clone whatever part on the left, there on the right, okay? That is the idea. All right, I'm gonna press Command-0 to fit on the screen, and then I'm gonna use my magnify glass. I would like to zoom on this area. Uh, in order to practice, I'm gonna start using the spot healing brush here also, okay? If you prefer, you can use the uh, the other tool. For example, here, let's see what happened if I do this. Maybe it's not the best result, but look at what I can do. I'm gonna use the stamp tool, okay? And I would like to clone that, that is what I need. Uh, for example, I'm gonna select from this area and I'm gonna start cloning here. And you see the result is much better. But the thing that I need, okay, is this shape. I can use, for example, this one, okay? I'm gonna hold on the option, click here. Then I'm gonna go to this corner and I can clone the same thing that I have here on the right. And you see, and the result is much better. Okay guys, I hope you like this video and see you on the next one. Bye.